Welcome back to Silent Hill. The last thing we did was use the basement key to unlock the basement in Alcamilla Hospital. The basement is the last place we can go at the moment, so let's go down here and see what we can find because there's certainly a lot more to the hospital that I can't access right now. I should mention... Jesus Christ. That camera angle and that sound. Well, that kind of says everything, but what I was going to say is... There's a morgue in the basement. Whoa, why no light? Come on. Come on, Harry. What are you doing? Isn't working. We came from this door, right? Yeah. Okay. Generator room, boiler room. Let's save the morgue. Oh, wow. Actually, the morgue is the door that isn't openable. Thank God. Okay. That makes me feel a lot better. The in-house generator powers elevators, ICUs, and operating rooms only. Do you want to press the switch? Yes. Did that actually work? Yeah, it's on. So this elevator should work now. That is a huge elevator. Makes sense though, I imagine hospital elevators would have to be pretty big to accommodate uh, like, you know, gurneys and, and other big things. So I guess if we go back to the first floor, probably nothing new is going to be open. Yeah, so it powers the elevator, powers ICUs and operating rooms. I don't think that would have any effect upon the first floor, so I think we should just head to the second. Make that the fourth? Or third, rather? Huh. Wait. There is a fourth floor. Why is it here now, but wasn't there when I looked another time? So I'm in the basement right now. What if I go up to the first floor? Do you have to be in the basement to get to the fourth floor? No? Did I just like somehow completely blank on seeing the fourth button? supposed to be seeing something right now yeah I feel like that's probably another emulation problem not sure what's causing that because most of the time it seems perfectly fine okay we have entered 
the other world, haven't we? Yeah, there's something strange about the fourth floor. There definitely is, because if you notice, when I was on the third floor, the button, the elevator button, only had one button. If it was designed normally, with being able to access floors below and above, since four would be above three, of course, then there should be a button for up and a button for down. The fact that it's only one button indicates that, like, it was designed with, without a fourth floor in mind. Meaning the fourth floor is unnatural, as we can obviously see. Don't have the map for this place. Right. Yeah, there's nothing else in this room. What was that? The hell was that? That wasn't a sound for me using the door. That came after. It sounded sort of like someone locked the door. Thank you, James, for turning on the light this time. Again, that really sounds like somebody locking it. So I guess through the fourth floor is how you access the other world, and this is going to take me down to the rest of the hospital, but in the other world. So sort of like the school. Except... I have the freedom to go back and forth between the worlds, probably. I'm assuming if I went back to the elevator and went down a floor, it'd probably be the normal world. Hmm... Holy shit. Oh no. Oh god, what's on their back? Are they dead dead? I can't stomp on them. What is that on their back? Okay, just want to pause for a minute. So this is actually really interesting. My, like the biggest image in my head when I think of the nurses from Silent Hill is I guess the ones that appear in the later games. Because this nurse here looks very different from the typical Silent Hill nurse that you kind of think of. Um, I'm not exactly sure which one started this, the like, sort of sexy, disturbing nurse thing, but I always think of that nurse with like a lot of cleavage and a messed up face. And I think they do have a knife as well or some sort of sharp thing. I always think of that as the Silent Hill nurse, but this is just like basically a normal nurse in appearances, except for the odd thing on their back. Obviously they don't behave normally. They're kind of hunched over and odd. Yeah, that's actually super interesting that that wasn't a thing in the first Silent Hill. Unless those come up later, but I I feel like there probably isn't multiple types of nurses. Oh. Oh. 
You know what I like about how heavily rusted everything is in the other world in Silent Hill? Is it always looks, at least somewhat, like blood. I always wonder, is it rust or is it blood? It's hard to tell. Birdcage. It's empty. I'd really like a map of this place. I'd also like that noise to go away. Laundry room. Oh, there's two of them. God, they're really creepy. so close to human. So much closer than anything else we've fought. we fought humanoid looking things, but these are like 90% human. I feel like I missed something obvious because I don't have the map. I feel like I really should have the map. Because, man, there's a lot of doors. Yeah, you know what? We probably just need to go to the same place that we got the map for the normal hospital, but just in this world, so... I somehow made it managed to make my way back. I actually almost got lost. Let's go down to the lobby, see if we can get it. Sort of zombie like. Glad I got so much ammo. I also got a bunch of shotgun ammo twenty five plus four rounds. Trying to save that for when I really need it. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that wiggly thing on the back of them. It looks sort of like another humanoid, like, head trying to grow out of them. Oh, uh, well, if that's the elevator, then the way to the lobby must be this way. Which I think is where I just came from, right? Is it in here? Okay, so that door's still locked. I think that's the door that was locked in the other world as well. Or close to that door, anyway. So I probably need to go around in a similar way through some of these places. Ah, 
Like this, this is blood, right? Or maybe it's rust. Nothing unusual. I guess rust nor blood is unusual in this place. Oh shit! A sound is heard from beyond the door. Okay. Can I do something with that? What can I possibly do? Is there something I can use <laughs> use the bottle on the door? Hmm. Right, well, let's explore more of the first floor. Let's just explore all of it. Well, this is a great room. What the fuck was that? I went out too fast. Do I want to go back in? No. Sounded sort of like glass breaking. The refrigerator is empty, thank god. Can you imagine what it would be? Rusty meat? Yeah, there's also a rendering glitch. You can see that, like, the upper part of the body should be clipping through the door, but instead it's being rendered on top of the door. I just want to find a map or a save point or both. Like, please? I beg you. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's a save point. Plate of Queen. Jesus! Fuck! There's some weird stuff going on with doors. So we've heard a couple doors where after trying to open them, it sounds like somebody locks them, although they don't open to begin with. And then there's the one door near the reception where it sounded like there were footsteps beyond it. And then this one where it sounds like someone just banged on the door.
guess it was them. Oh, wait. Oh, I get to reuse the map. Okay. So I actually do have a map for this part. I just don't have a map for... I just don't have a map for the fourth floor. Okay. I mean, it's still fine that I came down to the first floor. Might as well explore this. God, that makes it so much easier. Really just trying to get through this sort of an environment without the map would be so hard. So I still need to try the door to the basement. <laughs> I bet in this world, the morgue is open. Yeah. Sure, let's go to the basement. Damn it. Oh, that's so creepy the way they grab you from the back. I'm still mostly green, a little bit orange, but it's fine. Oh, I'm down to 14 shots with the pistol. Gonna have to switch to the shotgun soon. This isn't the morgue, right? No. That's more than just a hammer. Yeah, actually calling it a hammer is kind of ridiculous. That's uh, a combination tool. It's both sort of a sledgehammer. Because that is an exceptionally large hammer. Yeah, that's more like a sledgehammer. And then on the other end, it has a pick. That could be very useful for very many things. Actually, can I use that as a weapon? Not that I want to use it over a pistol or something, but... Highly damaging, but hard to use. I just want to try this thing out. It's so long. Generator's on. Okay. So just like the, the pipe, if you do it twice, you can do a, like a two combo before Harry's got to take a breath. That's just mashing it. This is one. This is holding it. Yeah, so it's got the exact same attack pattern as the pipe, including the tactical rotation. Whee! And this is the morgue. Of course it opens. Mm. Hold on, how am I doing on health? Might be really bad. Orange, I will take a health drink. That's pretty much it for my pistol ammo. Actually, that's it. 100% out. God, I hate that there's just the forms of dead bodies under all these. 
I mean, I know it's a morgue. I guess this is pretty much what you'd expect. Bodies laid out on the bed. Don't feel like checking this out. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Harry. Ampule? So just some healing stuff. That's it for the basement? Yes. So on the first floor, I want to check out the entrance to the outside. Or whatever it's called, it's like a entrance to a courtyard right here. Okay, yeah, I can't get in there. Takes you to yeah, some some sort of entrance. Oh, yeah, so this, this is a door that just lets you out to the opposite end of the yard where the entrance was. Okay. So that is it for the first floor for now, right? Hmm, you know what? I want to try one thing. This is the door that we heard noises behind. I don't see why this would work, but I just want to try to use my new tool. Okay, so I can only equip it. Uh, yeah, I really doubt this is going to do anything. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the second floor. And look at that. So from the first floor, there isn't even a button to get up to the fourth. So how do I get to the fourth? How did I get from the fourth to begin with? Was I on the fourth and were there stairs down, I think? So maybe I just go to three and then try to find stairs up if I wanted to? <laughs> maybe I'm just stuck in this world, I don't know. I just have, like, absolutely no understanding of how the whole elevator works for traveling between worlds. I haven't... Yeah, we have not explored this at all. So this has patient rooms, nurse center, intensive care unit, operating prep. Okay. Oh. Alright then. I don't understand. Do I have to take the stairs so I can go back to the first floor? Can I get to the stairs? I can. I gotta go down to the first floor and take the stairs up. And actually, I haven't tried to go into the bathrooms on the first floor right next to the stairs, I just realized. I'm about to go through here and go check out the bathrooms and go up the stairs and all that stuff, but I just want to pause for a second. I'm gonna stop talking for like five or ten seconds and up the volume. Have a listen. To me, that sounds like the hospital breathing. All right, women's bathroom. Just straight up the stairs, then. So we hadn't explored the second floor. Yes, we have not. Two shots, okay. I hear another one walking.
Is there something there on that thing, or is it just a belt buckle? Oh, it's just a belt buckle. Is that a lighter? Lighter. I think this is what I need all those plates for. Clouds flowing over a hill, sky on a sunny day, tangerines that are bitter, lucky four-leaf clover, violets in the garden, dandelions along a path, unavoidable sleeping time, liquid flowing from a slat. I don't like that. Since I said the words, now I'm just thinking about it. And it's creeping me out. Four square indentations on the door. So obviously that riddle probably has to do with some sort of order. So I don't think it's just a matter of finding the plates. Probably have to, I don't know, put them in the right spot. But then again, they seem to be color coded. Let me just try to put my current one in. Where do you want to set the plate? Okay, yeah. So I'm just gonna back out of this then. I'll just wait till I have all of them and then try to solve the riddle. I hope Harry marked that on the map. That's an important spot. <laughs> they didn't. Okay. So like the main thing that I'm trying to get through, the main reason I'm exploring all this stuff is to probably try to open that door in the nurse, cent uh, nurse center. So let's remember that nurse center, nurse center, nurse center. And it looks like getting through the nurse center is going to get you into the right side. Which means that this... This? Yeah, this is probably locked. Yep. <laughs> the Grim Reaper's list. Lydia Findlay, Trevor F. White, Albert Lords, Roberta T. Morgan, Edward C. Briggs. And they all have... They all have numbers next to their names that don't look like room numbers or anything like that, so that's probably tied to some sort of riddle, some sort of passcode thing, so... There we go, just took a picture. that one go down in one hit? Oh my god. What the fuck? I can't look anymore over there, I just see tentacles. It's drinking the blood, isn't it? It's drinking that pool of blood. Ew. Okay, so I need to take care of it to get that plate. Um, could just try shooting it. Let me f whoa. Not a good camera angle. Let me first try whacking it. I feel like if I get too close, it's just gonna like insta kill me. It sounds like I'm hitting it. Am I? Well, if I am, it's doing nothing. Is it trying to hit me? Ugh. 
Okay. I could still try to shoot it. Do I have anything else that could do anything? Poison? Oh, you know what? I'm probably supposed to burn it. But I probably need something to actually burn it with. You know, gasoline or something. Perhaps I fill up this plastic bottle with it. Although I think if I... If I put gasoline in this plastic bottle, it would probably melt it. I know the gasoline melts certain types of plastics. Maybe this is a good type of plastic, who knows. And I can't imagine I can burn it just by holding a lighter to it, but I can try. Yeah. I'm not going to waste my bullets because I'm pretty sure I need to burn it. I could try the knife, like cutting the tentacles? I super doubt it. Oh. Okay. Nah. I could try shooting it, but I don't think it's worth it. Did you note that, Harry? You did not. Wow. I'm actually going to write my own notes for these things because these are super important. Let's head up to the third floor. And I think... Yeah, this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to explore the third floor.